I am not the ultimate fisherman. Got him. But I'm getting there. Just a few videos ago, I tried using a dock like to fish the crazy deep clear waters of Lewis Smith Lake. We found some success, but I feel we can do better. So I've come out to Arley, Alabama on the Rock Creek arm of the lake system. And step one is to collect some bait. Now, if you're new to the channel, first of all, hit that subscribe button down below. But usually I catch minnows on these teeny tiny little hooks, such as this size 18 J hook. But in an attempt to be more productive, we're gonna soak the minnow trap. So while that's soaking over there all day, I am still gonna be using my tiny hooks to poke around this area, all these rocks and the dock and everything, just to try and see if I can find a new species while also trying to collect bait for later tonight. First species of the trip, no surprise, bluegill. Ouch. We'll actually hang on to him, toss him out here and let him soak all day for catfish. Just to see, never know. In the meantime, we got a size 18 hook, piece of wiggler on a float rig. We're gonna toss it out and see if there ain't some shiners hanging out off of this point. Wind starting to pick up some, so let it drift some, see if we can't stumble into them. There we go. That's a big shiner. Holy smokes. There we go, our first shiner. We got the old black tail. These things are absolutely everywhere in Alabama. They're big old shiners. And to me, that means decent bait. Now I just need a bucket full of those. Got him. Ooh, some dark colors on him. Nah, breeding, breeding season for them. See all those tubercles popping up on his head? Hopefully I got that in camera. Yeah, they're getting ready to spawn. I wonder if that's why they're all crowded up on this point. Well, unfortunately for you, I need you to perform a bigger service. Got him. Ha 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 ha. Oh, with the hook. So I've seen these little bitty fish that have been swimming around on top of these little rock shelves just un right underneath the surface. It's super deep right over here and then you just got these little ledges sticking off the top. And so for the longest time I just assumed it was mosquito fish hanging up near the surface. But that's why you drop a hook down to experiment and see because that right there is a baby 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 bass like good gracious fresh off the nest and there's a ton of them out here like just whole schools and swirls of them of just little bitty bass swimming around that is by and far my record when it comes to smallest bass i've ever caught that is absolutely amazing got another one whoa 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 not enough line out for that. And in case y'all didn't believe it, look at that right there. Hooked in the mouth. That little bitty bass. Uh-huh. Special equipment, special skills. You know, anybody can catch a five-pounder. But how many people you know have caught an inch? Yeah. Nope. Well, he freed himself. Gone then, fish. All right, we've tormented the baby bass enough. It's time to move on.
Whoop. Spit up a little shad. All right, come on. Come on. All the way up. Well. So, I took a break from catching the shiners because we've had some random scattered storms and rain started moving through and so it was pouring down earlier but it took a little break it's still drizzling just a little bit but i at least feel better filming in this environment and so came out to see if anything had gotten active from this little bit of rain runoff that we've had and got us a little bitty bass came through to say hello the old alabama spot i'm throwing a little tungsten jig head now in a Eurotackle two inch paddle tail trying to get as close to the water as I can he took right off good to go back up under the rocks where I found him fresh shiner size one J hook and blob him out there Sun's going down, more storm clouds are creeping up. So I'm getting desperate. So we're going to use some of the shiners fresh. I got some in the bucket for later. Going to use these fresh ones. Toss them out here under this bigger weighted float. Get a little bit of distance away because since the shiners are all hanging up right here on this point right off of the cliff, I'm hoping that anything likes to eat them is cruising around a little further out picking them off because I mean I've seen a couple little little explosions here or there time to get on the boat dock Does not feel very big. But finally got one to eat the shiner. Whoa, hey now, buddy. Get out from under the slip. Alright. Not a bad one. I'll certainly take him. Man, right in the bony top of the mouth. Give him my hook back. Well, he ain't much better, but it's a slight improvement from the last one. Another little spot. All right, big fun. Appreciate it. Go on back. Well, we've run out of daylight, so now we got to resort to the tactic I tried to use last time, which is the portable dock light dumped off the end of this little pier here. The minnow trap did a whole heap of nothing. I don't know if it's just because I don't have any sufficient current here to spread the scent around. Maybe it's the bait itself was just no good. But either way, it failed miserably no matter where I put it. So we will have to rely on the fish that I caught on hook and line. Just live line them out here. I've got a bobber. I've got weights. I've got, I'm going to try top of the water column, bottom, middle. I'm just going to chuck them around everywhere and see if we can't find something. Oh, go get that. I can't do this. You can. You still have it? Yes. Make sure <laughs> that you're sound. Anything else you need? We're good. Need him to take it for a minute. We actually had a dead blacktail shiner on this rod but earlier I was out here checking the blacktails and I had one that was dead so I went ahead and tossed it out while I was baiting up a live one to take over there by the dock light. As soon as I did I had a big old gar come up and hit the dead one and swim off. So I had another one that had perished in the bait bucket and so I set him on this one and just put a circle hook uh, with the shiner on it and just had it barely sitting in the surface of the water and sure enough something has grabbed a hold of it so if it is a 
gar. I'm trying to give him a minute to eat and do whatever he needs to do, get it down past that bony section because it is a circle hook. So once I put the pressure on it, if it's not in the bony part, he's going to let it go. See, he's pulling. But I don't know if he's eating. And actually, now I'm worried that he's going to go get wrapped up. All right, we're going to tighten down some. And we'll reel on him. Alright. Let's reel down, see if he's got it. very least he has not released it wait that's not a gar is it no is this a catfish it is a catfish wow and there we go Catfish, and it looks like he hung up on something else. What is this? Huh, he found some kind of old line nearby and got it tangled up with the rest of this. So once again, I've come out to Smith Lake, known for its striper fishing, and I have managed to catch another catfish. Last time it was the flathead, this time it's this little eater-sized channel. Now, so that bait was not on bottom, that was sitting right at the surface, and so he had to come way up out of his way, over 40 foot of water, he came up to the surface to hit that dead blacktail shiner. Beats all I've ever seen. Alright, get on out of here. Well... That wraps up another trip to Smith Lake with no big striper caught. I mean, fish were caught and I knocked off a new bait for the day, so it's better than being skunked. But I will definitely be returning to Lewis Smith to try and find those bigger fish. But until then, y'all have a good one.